Agus Tommy Girus Jahiran Salaher and and Tografile at Har Shuli Rehan Tauri Agus Kaharid and Willis Agat Kevi Dalte Nak My Rockton Aku Eran Shkem Shin Agus Freshen and Will Tu Eranolis Fim Clactus at Haan Go Willer Tishmahori Eak Ask and Spasa on. I'm focusing on the number of children who will be left without a place on the summer programme and also the practice, I'm not sure how widespread it is, that seems to have arisen that parents have to pay to secure a place on the summer provision. Thanks, Deputy, for your question. Um, so I'm delighted that funding of €40 million Euro has been secured again this year to ensure that a comprehensive summer programme is available in 2024. So the funding of €40 million Euro is designed to cover the full costs associated with the summer programme. And just on that particular issue, parents should not be asked to make financial contributions to the summer programme. My department was made aware of one case, um, which was immediately resolved. Uh, sh should any parent find themselves in a position where they're asked to um, contribute in any way, um, I would be very keen to hear from them in relation to that, because that is just completely not acceptable. Um, all schools have an opportunity to run the summer programme um, for children who need it most and our main priority is for those children with the most complex special educational needs especially in special schools and um, that they can have access to a school-based summer program so the measures for the 2024 summer program have been designed to maximize participation in the school-based program so the published reports from my department's inspectorate have highlighted the enormous value of the program and I'm, I would encourage as many schools particularly special schools to participate in the program so more than 1700 individual expressions of interest have been received from schools for this year's summer program compared to over 1400 schools who participated in 2023 so of the schools registered for the 2024 summer programme, 1,475 primary schools registered, that was up 19% on 2023. 205 post-primary schools, that was up 28% on 2023. And 72 special schools, which is up 22% on 2023. And the special schools is up 85% on 2022. So regarding your question on children who may not be able to access the programme, so I'm pleased that more children are availing of the support each year. And I would encourage, again, all schools, even at this late stage, if you're thinking of undertaking the programme, to contact the department. We won't have the figures for this summer programme until September as they come in. Um, and just to, I have just figures in relation to, um, in 2021, we had 37,500 children, um, students who took part in the summer programme. And in 2023, we had 50,000 students. So we've seen a significant increase thank in the minister. numbers um, taking up the programme. Okay. Thank you for the clarification and thank you for telling me there's just been one case brought to your attention. Hopefully there are no more. And it's a totally unacceptable practice. Um, just in relation to this programme, I welcome all the progress that's been made. I welcome the increase in numbers, the number of schools. I welcome the changes made and the various appointments that have been made. I welcome all of that. But we have to put it in context, Minister, that this arose from a, a, a High Court or a Supreme Court judgment back in 2001, 23 years ago. And that case was taken in the 90s to say that you couldn't have children with special needs not getting attention during the summer, that it was detrimental to their welfare. Now that's the background to the summer provision. And it was to deal with children with special needs and complex needs. So what I'm trying to get here, I welcome the analysis and I welcome the figures, but we've no context to those. So we have over, I think, 8,000 approximately children attending special schools. Less than 50% of the special schools provide, provide their schools for the summer programme. I, I'll stick with them, my time. Yeah. Yeah, and, and when we reached out to schools to ask them, in order to increase the numbers per take, we asked them, what are the barriers to doing the summer programme? And... Uh, the issues that came up was the rate of pay for teachers, for SNAs. Um, so we've done, we've increased the rate of pay for teachers, for SNAs. We've opened up a portal because some of the schools were saying that they can't get the teachers of the SNAs. So a portal has opened up for teachers and SNAs to register their interest to work in any school across the country. And it's even open as well to uh, student teachers or to other students from other disciplines, for example, therapy, social care, nursing students, um, er students in early years, care workers, to I suppose, encourage more schools across the country to partake in this. We've also shortened the school day. We've uh, provided additional grant funding 
There's a dedicated, um, there's an appointed national coordinator as well for the schools. Um, the work, uh, there's faster payment of staff. All of these issues were highlighted by the schools across the country. And what I want to do is to see even more schools every year partaking, particularly those with the most complex needs. Yeah, I, I'm not diminishing the progress that has been made, but to appreciate it fully, we need to realise that the government is under a legal obligation to provide summer provision. And within that, how do we assess the progress? And it has come, it has come as a result of pressure from the parents and the hardship of parents. I have received representations in relation to p parents seeking residential care simply because their children have regressed because they can't ac access summer programmes. On top of that, we don't have a breakdown. How the percentage of children with special needs that are actually attending the summer pro pro program. We don't have a breakdown. Do they attend one week, two weeks, three weeks or four weeks? There's no minutia, which is very important so we can improve the scheme and make it suitable for those who most need it. And then we have schools, I understand, who use their premises to earn money for summer camps and so on and don't put an emphasis. Now, I'm not here to give out about schools. What I'm here is to highlight the legal obligation on the government to provide some provision for those who need it most and so I wouldn't like to stand here again in the next term looking at the progress in terms of figures without a context minister without an overall Thank context you, and a breakdown yeah I suppose it's in relation to I suppose assessing the, and we all know the, the value of the summer program and you're absolutely right and the feedback from teachers from parents is when children can partake of the summer program that regression is hugely reduced when they go back uh, to school and that's why we have focused on particularly I suppose the uptake of special schools has significantly increased and when you see the inspector's report uh, in relation to this but we can delve down there are figures the percentage, the percentage of special schools partaking it I can, I'll, I'll come back to you in relation to that and try and delve into those figures, absolutely. And just to say what we're doing is, like, the department cannot compel schools to participate in the programme because participation in the school-based summer programme, it is voluntary, it's a matter for boards of management and the schools to decide if they will run the programme. But what the department have done is reached out to all schools and we continue to do this. What are the barriers to it? And that's where pay came in, access to teachers, to SNAs, the portal, uh, increasing the grants for them. And we will continue to do this because we all absolutely value the Minister. importance of this. But it is uh, really important. And I know we're seeing off the one hymn sheet here that more schools engage in this and the department then. And I will be looking at this through the budgetary process as well about what else we can do to encourage schools. Thank you, Minister.